so going into the reliever was I was happy with that. You know, I knew it gave me another opportunity to find my way here. Uh, in the past, being here, I think I had what twenty appearances out of the bullpen when I was a starter. So now that I'm able to focus and become a full time reliever, learn how to be a reliever. Um, in the past, I had my starter's mentality when I would come out of the pen, which is like not what you should be doing. Like coming out of the pen as a a reliever, you want to throw your best stuff. And I would come out with trying to establish my fastball. And I mean, if you're coming in after Max Scherzer, the fastball is already established in the game. So <laughs> it's tough for me to establish my fastball. But um, now I just, you know, try to pick everyone's ears and learn from them, pick their brains and go with it. Who, who have you been talking to out there the most in terms of trying to pick up tips or um, you've got a lot of time to kill before games during the first few innings of games. Who have you been leaving on in that regard? Oh, uh, Javi Guerra a lot. I mean, he's not here right now, but in the past, I played with him five years ago and then the past two years as well. So he's someone I've always, uh, spring training. If I have something in my mind that I, I'm thinking about, I bring it to him, see what he says. He's very honest with me. He's seen me for five years. He knows what I'm capable of. He knows what I can do best. Um, so I, I try to pick his brain a lot. He's great with me. Um, Hudson, Hand, you know, even the young guys like Finnegan, Tanner, all of them, because, I mean, they've been relievers longer than me. So, What uh, I mentioned you've kind of been up and down. Baseball players – in general and, and specifically pitchers are such creatures of habit and you want to get into a routine. You want to try and do the same thing every day, put yourself in the best position to have success. But when you're going up and down and you're at the alternate site and you're with the big league club and you're on the taxi squad, then you're, I would imagine it's really hard to develop that sense of routine and consistency. How have you been able to, to do that? And what have been the things that you've tried to, to focus on when there's a lot of uncertainty swirling around you? Yeah, I've had quite the traveling year. Um, staying in a routine is is very hard, um, especially as a reliever, even if you're not on the taxi or any of that. So um, for me, it's just making sure I'm ready to play. Um, you know, I know lifting and all that's going to be hard for me to get it in because I'm back and forth so much. And, you know, when I'm back, when I'm called back, that's when they I'm used a lot. So uh, as long as I'm ready to go, that's fine with me. Um, I know I, I keep my work in whenever I can, but um, just staying healthy is, you know, what matters most to the team. So, and, and you mentioned being ready to to go when you're called upon. That's something obviously that is very different from a starting pitching to a, a reliever role. Is back to back days, is three out of four, things like that. And you're a guy that because you do uh, recently have a starting pitcher's length in, in your uh, your resume. They'll call on you for multiple innings on occasion. How have you adapted to um, just needing to be available as many days as possible um, and dealing with with something in, in that context that you haven't really dealt with before? Yeah, I mean, every day they ask me how I'm feeling. I tell them I'm good to go. I was always told, you know, if, if you're not ready to go, they'll find someone that is. So um, I try to prepare myself to be ready for every game. I think the, the other day was the first time I've asked for a day off in the four years that I've been up and down. Wow. Um, I, I needed that the other day, but um, now I just try to be ready as much as I can and uh, give them as much as I can.